All you rolling raptors. In this video, I'm teaching three absolute beginners how to roll down stairs. First, find a staircase with some really wide steps. The point is to practice your posture. Bend your knees as much as possible. Keep your legs scissored with one foot in front. Most of your weight should be on your back leg, more precisely on your heel. When riding backwards, put your weight on your toes. As soon as you're comfortable rolling down wide steps, you can practice riding steeper sets of stairs. Start with rolling down two steps and then build up. Always remember, the more speed you've got, the smoother the stair ride will be. It's scary to approach a staircase at full speed, but trust me, it's much safer than going slow. When you're going too slow, you'll risk your wheels getting stuck. And make sure to maintain the scissor stands until you're safely on the ground. I like to keep my arms high up in front of me for extra balance. Rolling down stairs backwards is easier and safer than going straight. When riding fakie, push your shins into the tongues of your liners. See how smooth these guys are stair riding. Once you feel comfortable on small staircases, you can try riding bigger sets of stairs. It's always the same principle. Put your weight on the heel of your back foot and maintain the scissor stance. Now we are moving over to a real big staircase. As long as you keep your legs scissored, nothing can happen. Jordy didn't keep his scissor, so he crashed. Well done, man. This is the first time I'm riding those stairs without grabbing the handrail. I'd like to congratulate myself. Wood put too much weight on his front leg, which threw him off balance. Ah, stair riding is so much fun. I encourage everyone to try it. If you've got questions, ask them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.